What's up guys, Matt here, welcome to this video. Um, this is a video I didn't want to make, to be honest with you, because for so many reasons really, I don't even know where to start. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I like to keep things positive on my channel, you know, I, I don't want to be negative or to bring anybody else's mood down, but which is why... Uh, if you guys are watching and you don't want to hear any negativity, don't even bother watching the video. That's my advice. If you don't want to hear any negativity or know what the hell's going on, turn the video off now. That's my advice. Let me sort this light out. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, um... Don't even know where to start like i said so well okay we'll start from the simple thing as you guys saw my post i said that i'm pretty much leaving youtube and that is the case i'm gonna be leaving youtube i'm not i don't know if i'm gonna be leaving it forever but i'm gonna be having a little break from it because you know any i think anyone who does youtube you know they, they don't like to show their private life too much. I suppose I'm one of those people. I, I used to do it in the past. I used to always show my true feelings and whatnot. And it was looking back, it's really cringeworthy. And I, I guess I kind of did it in the wrong way. Like you'll find videos on my channel when I'm, where I'm talking about my mental health problems. Well, it's safe to say those problems have not gone away. They're still here. And if anything, I'm uh, I'm. I feel like I'm relapsing. So I'll start off and say that for the last, well, ever since I was about 17, 18 years old, I would say 18, I've been taking antidepressants, just like a lot of other people here in the UK and pretty much all over the world. I've been taking antidepressants and they have been working slowly but surely but about two months ago, they were not working. Let's put it that way. I was getting hard palpitations. I was pretty much not feeling positive anymore. So my doctor said to me that I shouldn't take them anymore. And I've been going cold turkey for the last three or four weeks now. As you guys know, or may not know, I was also a smoker of cigarettes. I've quit those. I'm not smoking a vape, I'm not using any pads or anything. I don't need a medal, I'm not saying I need to... I'm not looking for any bogey points when I say that. But I've been struggling, guys. I've been struggling a hell of a lot. Words can't even describe it. I do videos to distract myself, and because I want to do them, of course. You know, as you guys know, fragrance... It's my passion. In fact, I'm wearing English Blazer by Yardley at the moment. Well, it's not actually a Yardley version. This is a, it's another version of English Blazer, but it's, it's still the English Blazer. That's my scent of the day. Uh, you know, and I've been doing videos to distract myself and to, I suppose, take away the chatter. And the voices that are going on inside my head. I just know I'm going to get comments on this video saying, you should talk to a fucking doctor. You should... Why put it on YouTube? There's a reason why I haven't for so long, until now. So if you're one of those people who want to put that comment, I'm not even going to begin to say what the hell you are. But for those people who I have actually... Who I do admire and who do admire me... I would like to apologize for and for pretty much ending my channel like this. You know, there's people out there who are really trying to build on their YouTube channels. You know, some people who have only got like 500 subscribers. Some people who have only got 1,000. I mean, 1,000 is still a lot. You know, I have 5,000 subscribers. And to me, that is a lot. That is a lot of people. And it's you guys I would like to say sorry to. For wasting your time. And watching my videos. This will be the final video I'll be posting for probably the next few years. 
I don't particularly want to finish YouTube, but... Yeah. The reason I'm finishing YouTube is not only because of my mental health, but because of stupid comments. Now, yes, comments are hit and miss. You get good comments, you get bad comments. You've got to rise above both sides. When the comments about your appearance and about the way you look, it's going to defeat you. And most people can get on with it. The people that can get on with it have been saying things to me like, oh, rise above it, keep your chin up, which is all fine and dandy. But there's a lot more to the problem. I'm aware I've got a broken mind. I'm aware that it's shattered. I'm aware it's mush. Whether or not it was, I don't know, it could be a lot of things. I don't care about being too private right now, but, you know. My dad never gave a shit about me growing up. He left when I was 14. Him and my mom had a divorce. It was the best day of my life. But the day he left, left an impact. It left a hole. A big hole. A father's supposed to guide his son and daughter. Supposed to show them the ins and outs of life, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, and all that sort of jazz. He wasn't there. And if anything, I have a lot of hatred for him. So I'm paying the price for it now. My advice would be, if you're a father, and if you're a new, say like if you're a new father to a baby, you know, obviously, be the best father you can be. Because that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be the best father I can be. You know, I have an amazing girlfriend. I have an amazing family who support me. And they want what's best for me. Just like the majority of you guys. You guys want what's best for me too. Which I'm eternally grateful for. And I love you guys for that. But. If you're going to walk out on your kid. Know the consequences first. I'll be honest guys. I'm pretty depressed. Pretty depressed. I'm pretty much sick of my fucking life. It's funny because you guys probably didn't have any idea that this was going on. Well, now you do. And those who did, well... I guess I didn't hide it too well, did I? When I started this YouTube channel seven years ago, I had influences. You know, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, who was, of course, not with us anymore. He was one of my main influences. Scentland, Chris. Mr. Smelly. Of course, him being from the UK really made it quite awesome. I love what he's doing at the moment. I, I wish him nothing but good luck and everything like that. And, you know, not just that, but Instagram as well. I'm also a big user of Instagram, and there's people on there who... You know, I, I really enjoy and look up to quite a lot as well. So, I will continue to be using Instagram, however, but YouTube is a no-go for now. I'm feeling like... I don't know, I just feel like I'm sinking in a hole. You know, you hear all these things on social media about men's mental health and... How people say it's it's okay for men to cry. When they when they cry, they show their true emotions. Well, I can't cry. I can't cry at all. I can't let out any form of emotion. I just feel numb. I feel numb. It's kind of like a numb feeling inside my chest. Nothing comes up. Nothing lets it out. Sorry, guys. That was my keyboard. <laughs> Got it switched on still. So, yeah. Finding life pretty tough, guys. And I hope and pray that in the next few years, I hope it's not years, months, weeks, maybe even days, I hope that I can look back on this video and think to myself, fucking hell, Matt. What the hell were you doing? Because I know there's going to be people out there who won't even want to watch this video. They'll think to themselves, oh, God's sake, shut the fuck up. That's fine. I don't mind that. But I think you've got to be a good person to care about someone. At least someone's well-being. 
I care about anyone. I would never wish anything bad on anyone. The amount of comments I've had on this beard, for example. <laughs> you know? Gets old in the end. And that old feeling turns into frustration, turns into anger, and it turns into just downright, I don't want to do this anymore. So, and it's not, like I said, it's not just because of the comments, it's because of my general health. My health is all over the place, my brain feels like a squashed potato. <laughs> Literally. So yeah. So yeah guys, uh, that's the end of this video, I just wanted to, I don't even know, just wanted to talk about how I'm feeling. Yes, I've had a drink, I'm feeling pretty drunk. Dutch courage, that's what they call it, right? <laughs> but no, I had to have a drink, because if I didn't have a drink, I would have gone insane. So, yeah. So yeah. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all. I don't even know. But look after yourselves, alright? Keep smelling good, and have a good one.